Did you know that 90% of the world's population's thinking is influenced by movies? So then I started thinking and creating all sorts of movies, of course, the, of course not the legal ones, in the summer of 2015. That the idea that I came here to share with all of you is that I think that all the movies that we watch in the cinema or just on the couch in front of the TV are so influential, magnificent, and important that we just don't understand it sometimes. Me, neither myself sometimes. Many movies give power to people by showing different kinds of education, political power, and lots of prejudice and fashion style too. On the other side, movies are really emotionally uplifting. Some of, their, some of them raise awareness for diseases and discover uncovered lies. Amazingly, I have been familiar with professional vloggers, which give me another big step towards the movie industry. Vlogs are 10 minute chat videos that are not just videos of some guy or girl who wants to show, off, show off his new or her new car. Vlogging is about expressing yourself in a very unique manner that nobody else has done it before. That the reason I like vlogs is because this is the, the way I express myself. Usually I have vlogged about my personal life. I like to share my thoughts and comments about a topic. I also ask questions to my potential audience. For example, I went to Milan, Italy to study fashion. I decided to make a vlog while I was there to, to demonstrate what I have actually learned. I set my vlog outside the Duomo and Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. I was seeing myself and other students in the design course. I was trying to reach my goal in creating an interesting video, which may create some kind of magic in people's brains. You know, vlogging is an idea that has been going for quite a while. In 2013, Lee Shannon Miller, who is a famous pop culture activist and movie commentator said, in 2013, vlogging is still one of the best ways for, for YouTubers and the like to connect with their audiences. An interesting fact is that last year, I went to the New York Film Academy and I saw this incre incredible passion and love towards the movies, that I made a movie just by myself. If you're a person who thinks movies are just a normal thing, that is not really important, and you see all those people extremely interested and lovely people, and there's one central idea, and you ask, and you say, this is, this is really amazing, and you get really interested, and you, may and you make a movie just by yourself, which is actually magnificent. And that's what I experienced. People are working together. After this event, I really thought that YouTube vlogs and YouTube in general, and YouTube in general is one thing that everybody can do. Vlogging helps to communicate with others and to share ideas so people don't feel alone. It's a medium for sharing ideas. An unbelievable vlogger like Casey Neistat, a famous New York filmmaker, who is one of my biggest inspirations because of his uniqueness, which really connects with him's passion for working without stopping. He works non-stop and shows his audience how much he loves them through the beautiful and professional vlogs he creates. He says that if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. That, mean, that means that people get influenced and creating media and short movies is not for really big and famous Hollywood stars. It could be done by every single person in this room and of course outside of it. In this three minute video, Casey explains a social issue that has blocked his comfort for traveling safety, which, which is a very adequate and funny example of him crashing and people's reactions. As Casey Nasta's public service announcement is about, is about bike lanes and his concern for safety, one of the videos that I have created is about how people live carelessly without turning back and not even caring. for riding my bike not in the bike lane. I can't believe you're busting my balls. I'm doing the world a favor riding my bike. It's pouring rain out here. Yeah, look at this. Look at these assholes. Look at this guy. Double park right here in a bus lane. You're not giving him a ticket. What's the fine? You're a bicyclist, so it's anywhere from $10 up to $130, depending on your racket. But it's a bicycle summit. that keep you from probably riding in the bike lane.
our show and elsewhere, the police continue to crack down on biking infractions. As the number of bikers explodes throughout the city, ticketing is on the rise. Casey in Manhattan, you got a ticket this month? Uh, yeah, I got a, a ticket about three weeks ago for riding my bike not in the bike lane. Not in the bike lane. Alex is holding up a sign that says, <laughs> you could have just said it. Oh, okay. His sign says, not illegal. Yeah. I wish I had known that before I paid the $50 ticket. Well, so... Th- Okay, enough of the silliness. Here in my video, I filmed two places in which I was concerned that there is no order. In the first video, there were two people who were eating lunch at a school table, but they suddenly leave their food on the table without even caring. The second video is a boy who carelessly lifts, lifts his back on the ground and then just a girl randomly picks it up for no reason and carries it. This is an example of carefree. really quick special vlog about two things that I'm concerned that are happening in school. This vlog is partially for TED Talks, which I'm gonna do right now, and this video is gonna be uploaded to TED, to my TED Talk, and you're gonna see the two things that I'm concerned. Here we go. Fashion set. What are you doing? You look so Okay. As regarding my vlogging channel, I have sometimes received positive feedback, which makes me really happy and encourages me to make even more vlogs. And I have some and seen comments of people which were really encouraging about film. And I have seen comments of people which have been encouraging about film. Unfortunately, I cannot escape the bad comments and the negative feedback, but, I, but th- that didn't let me go down. Of course, that affects how I think and my emotional state. When I wake up in the morning, I ask myself, how in this very day I'm going to make the world different by applying a new movie to YouTube? And that's why I'm living. Another quote by, nice, by Casey Neistat is just, do more than simple. Simplicity is tougher than complexity. To make something simple, you have to make it simple. But vlogging, I'm trying to, to inspire people to transform them to have a different view of their lives, a more digital life. Thank you.